Leading local on day two of the Chad Isaac trial, testimony from law enforcement and from the wife of one of the victims were at the forefront. Questions about an affair, Isaac's connection to the victims, and a motive for the crime continue to be key lines of questioning for both sides. Reporter Maddie Beertemple has been following the trial today and joins us now at the Morton County Courthouse. Maddie, can you describe the testimony from earlier today? Much of this morning was filled with emotional testimony from Jackie Faulkner. She and her husband, Robert, co-owned RJR before he was murdered. Now she says life has been difficult since then and since learning of an affair Robert was having while they were married. Jackie Faulkner says her life changed dramatically when her husband, Robert, was murdered and she became full owner of RJR. I worked twice as hard. I don't have a life anymore. I don't have dreams. <laughs> I don't have Robert. She also lost co-workers, Adam Fuhr and husband and wife, Bill and Lois Cobb, April 1st, 2019. We were very close family back then. We're still a family, but I don't think we have that same bond because we're missing those people. Being tried for those four murders is Chad Isaac, a Washburn chiropractor whose mobile home was managed by RJR, but who otherwise had little contact with the victims, according to Faulkner. She says he paid rent early and once did snow removal at the trailer park, but once RJR started managing it, he stopped. Jackie says she didn't know why, but overall there was nothing unusual about him. He might have had his um, paperwork for his dog accommodations. Other than that, I, I mean, it was a pretty normal lease that he had. Attorneys also brought up the years-long affair Robert was having with a woman named Lisa Nelson. Jackie says she learned of it when investigators told her about a month after the murders. Yes. Attorneys then questioned Faulkner on a comment she made in the past about if Robert were ever to cheat on her, saying she'd have him taken care of. Law enforcement said they didn't take that literally. Talking with Jackie throughout the whole thing and stuff like that, um, I think that that was just her, her way of saying that um, he'd be in trouble if he cheated on her, you know. I think those words are, seem extreme, but I don't think they were literal. Special Agent Sean Bennett also took the stand when video evidence of the outside of the scene was presented. More graphic videos from inside the crime scene were also shown to jurors, but not the public. What stood out to you about your interior walkthrough of the RJR office area? There again, just the uh, the amount of uh, of wounds and the the seriousness, how horrific that scene looked. Um, Lois Cobb's injuries really stuck out to me. Uh, she had a very deep laceration to her neck and and numerous uh, stab wounds. Isaac watched the entirety of the video expressionless. Prior to the murders, Jackie said she had no knowledge of any personal threat to her, her husband, Adam Fuhrer, or the Cobbs. Later, testimony was given by special agents in law enforcement laying out the videos and pictures of the crime scene. Nicholas, back to you. Betty, thank you very much. Now, you can watch the trial live on our KX News app, as well as on our website, kxnet.com. We also have all of the opening statements on our website in case you missed any of them.